Well, Oakmont, almost from the beginning, but certainly from the 1920s forward, embodied toughness in golf. For the last 60 plus years, Oakmont has been the best course for identifying the best players of their times. And it's the only course where every um, US Open winner since the, first, the Second World War has been a multiple major champion winner. It has become controversial. It wasn't particularly controversial at the time, uh, but people have uh, always liked to de debate when somebody says this is the greatest ever, they like to debate. They have lengthened the course in the last decade or so simply to reflect the, uh, the new technological changes. The balls go farther, the clubs make them go farther, the players are also stronger, the players are also as a group more skilled, and in order to maintain what they call shot values from generation to generation, occasionally you have to alter the courses in some significant way to adjust. Well, my golf history class at CMU is called The Rise of Modern Golf. I've tried to make it a course that fits with the broader social and cultural and political history aspirations of the department. We just had uh, 28 uh, students from all over the campus. I was able to bring um, almost two dozen students and Oakmont went out of its way to make the experience fantastic. The most spectacular thing, walking the last four holes of the golf course where the tournament will almost surely be decided uh, with the uh, head golf professional and walking those holes, the students realized they'd never seen holes quite like that. They never felt turf like that under their feet in the fairways. They never felt greens like that under their feet. There's a tactile component to golf that comes out spectacularly at Oakmont. So this recent visit was uh, really, really special.